Hey kids, I'm Miss Sherry, and I get to be the children's director here at Greenbar Church. And I hope that you are enjoying the mobile extravaganza that we brought to you this year. Maybe you've already hunted for eggs, or you're gonna go hunt for eggs, whatever it may be. I'm just glad that you have come to join this because I wanted to provide you with something that gives you kind of a taste of what we do at Kids Church on Sunday mornings. Now, whether, whether you're a infant all the way up to a fifth grader, you're all power kids in my heart. Power kids or power tots, you're all, all one big happy family. So we get to do fun stuff on Sunday. And I wanted to bring you just a story because it's Easter and give you a taste and let you see what we get to do. So are you ready? What I want you to do to help me, I'm gonna count to three. When I say one, I want you to close your eyes. And then when I say three, I want you to take them over. You know what? Let's put your hands in front of your eyes. I'm gonna count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Here we are. We have gone back to Jerusalem and a garden because I want to tell you the story about what happened on that Easter morning. Now, we already went through the whole week of Jesus. He was crucified. When he died, they put him in a tomb. And on Easter morning, one of Jesus' friends, Mary Magdalene, let me just read you what it says. On Easter morning, Mary Magdalene and a few other women went to the tomb where Jesus laid. They discovered the tomb was empty. An angel told them that Jesus is alive. Then Mary actually saw Jesus alive. And so what she did was ran to tell the disciples. Now remember the disciples are Jesus' friends, his followers. So she excitedly said to the disciples, I've seen the Lord, he is risen, he's alive. So later that same day, two of those disciples were walking to a town called Emmaus. Now when they were walking, they met this guy. He was a stranger to them. And he seemed to not know anything that had happened. So two of the disciples started telling him all the stuff that had happened with Jesus the whole week long. And the stranger said to them, that's like it was in the Old Testament. Do you remember? But the, remember the prophets, they're the ones that talked about that all these things that were gonna happen. And he was just telling the two disciples thing after thing from the Old Testament. They knew how smart this man was about the, all the teachings that they knew so much about. So they, got, they sat down to eat because they were tired at that point, just talking, talking. And then the stranger served them the food and their eyes were open and they knew that it was Jesus. It was actually Jesus who Mary had said was alive. He was alive right in front of them. So those two guys went running back to the other disciples and one of them says, we just saw Jesus. And the other one says, it's just like the prophet said, he's alive. Oh my goodness. So here we are on this Easter Sunday, lots of Easter Sundays from when that one first started, and we remember that Jesus is risen. Now that we know the good news, we can go and tell everybody that we know. Hey, we know. We um, can take do you have any peeps? Wait, I'm actually trying to tell a story here. Um, yeah, but I don't have any peeps, and everybody else got peeps in their Easter basket, and I always have peeps in my Easter basket. Okay, well, wait a minute, wait a minute here. So this Easter morning, this special Easter morning, all you can think about is peeps? <laughs> no, not only peeps. Uh, that's really good, because I was going to say, I kind of have a story I was going to do, and that if, Doug, could you finish the story? Was there anything else on your mind? Well, I also didn't get any Reese's peanut butter eggs either. Oh, I was really, really hoping that you could go to the point that what I was talking about, because on the first Easter morning, nobody could wait to share the good news about Jesus. They didn't have chocolate or peeps or anything like that on their mind. They had Jesus. They wanted to talk about Jesus. I mean, Mary ran to the disciples. The disciples ran to, well, everybody to tell everybody and so how come you're just worried about candy? Well, on Easter, I get a basket full of candy and only has peeps in it. So what's wrong with that? Well, what's wrong with that actually is that the reason that we do all of this is because Jesus is alive. He's conquered sin. What's sin? Oh, well, sin is the, all the bad things you've ever done. And you know what? I think we have a good way that we can show you how to do that. Let's say we have this pure water. Like when Adam and Eve, when they first were created, this is kind of what their lives looked like. 
Okay, but then the Bible says that we've all sinned and we all fall short of what God wants from us. So, take this. Now, I'm going to read off some different kind of things that might be considered a sin. Every time one that you think is one that you do, just put a drop of the glue into the water, okay? So, let's say that you disobeyed your parents or maybe lying to your friends or maybe you're fighting with your siblings or you're taking something that didn't belong okay, to you. Okay, okay, yes, I've done all this. I'm not perfect. I've sinned. That's, but that's great because you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. So does Jesus know all of those things. He knows we're not perfect. So that's why he died for us. So Jesus came to conquer sin. He comes into our life. And when he does that, he saves us and we're no longer separated from God. I mean, if we believe in Jesus, he's going to forgive our sins and he gives us eternal life. He really has forgiven all of our sins and all the bad things that I've done? Well, yeah. Put that down for a second. I want you to read something. This is out of 1 John 1, 7. Can you read that for us? Sure. Okay, so it says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Yeah, Jesus is all about, and Easter is all about, celebrating his sacrifice on the cross and his resurrection from the grave. Jesus died and he rose again so that you and I could be purified from sin. So Jesus really died on the cross for our sins. His body was put in a tomb, and then he, a whole three days later, he rose again. You say mm -hmm. he resurrected? <laughs> resurrected is the word. Yes, he's resurrected. He was alive. And I have a cool way to show you that, too. So, this is what we're talking about. Let me see. Remember I was talking about how Mary was so amazed? Let's see. Let's take an egg out of this, out of our container. What do you think is going to be inside this egg? The gooey, gross, slimy yeah, stuff. Yeah, but it's yummy to eat. Go ahead and crack it open, and let's see what's in it. Oh, ooey, gross, slimy stuff. Yeah. That's kind of how, what we expect to have happen. So, thinking back to what Mary was going to do, she expected to see a grave that was soon. Well, let's, here, try this egg. Let's get to Mary in a second. Wait! What do you it's think about empty. that? So that one's empty. And we're amazed when we look at that because that's not what's supposed to happen. And that's kind of like why Mary was so amazed when she went on that Easter morning. She was like, wait, that tomb's supposed to be covered and he's alive. And that's how we started the whole thing. When you're walking in and didn't know, that was, we, they were so excited and so grateful and so amazed because their Savior, who they thought had died, was actually alive. Wow, Easter is definitely not all about peace. Jesus is alive. Hey, you guys, isn't it just so great that we have so much stuff on Easter? I mean, not only do we get to eat yummy dinners and we get all the candy and all the stuff that our mom and dads let us have and all of that, but we, we know now that we have a Jesus who loves us so much and he did so much for us. He has purified our sins. He takes all the stuff that looks really dirty and makes it clean again that's what Jesus is. That's what he came for. That's what he's here for. And when we ask him into our hearts, he's there with us for the rest of our lives. So thank you so much for being here today. I miss you guys so much. I cannot wait till I see you again. Please know that I'm praying for you and your families and have a really great Easter. I love you.